Hi, and welcome to the episode of Psychology According to the Nas Man. Um, so, what's all this psychology about, right? Psychology is about the understanding of human behavior, um, and it starts with the understanding of the development of the human mind. Now, the development of the human mind is studied in psychology through two lenses, the lenses of um, uh, psychosocial development and psychosexual development. Psychosocial development being outlined by um, Eric Erickson and psychosexual development being outlined by Freud. Now, um, the study of psychosocial and psychosexual development is really pretty much out there. You can Wikipedia it. So we're going to skip to the CBT model, which is the most important and current model we have um, to explain people's problems. How we do it is we break it down into thoughts, actions, and emotions. So those are the three components of a problem and they are the three components of any solution to that same problem. Everything we do is preceded by a thought process and an emotional state. Now, um, how psychotherapy works is it begins with empowerment. It begins with the therapist and the client in the relationship establishing um, that things can change. Now, once that has been established, then there's awareness of the problems, awareness of the thoughts, the emotions, and the actions that are changeable, that cause this problem state or situation that the client is in. And then after awareness is acceptance and commitment to change, the commitment to begin to change little things, things that are changeable in that story. Small little behaviors, by scheduling behaviors, um, thought processes by going through a compare and contrast of positive and negatives, um, or perhaps a thought journal and emotional um, reactions and emotional states related to the problem um, through conversation and through insight-oriented um, therapies or talk with your, with your um, therapist. Of course, psychology has the self-work that you can do, and there's the guided work as well. And there are many psychology self-help books out there to help you understand why you have the problems you have, to help you label the emotions that you're going through, label the problems that you're going through. But most importantly, the idea is to change. The idea is empowerment, taking responsibility for the part that you can, right? And changing, changing either the way you think about it, the way you feel about it, or the behavior itself or the actions that you take. So psychology is all about understanding um, things like, for example, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, every human being's need for safety, um, all the way up through to self-actualization. And using that knowledge, using um, motivation, uh, motivational interviewing, um, and using that knowledge to pull ahead the purpose and the purpose is better outcomes. It's solution-focused therapies. Now, some therapists are more old-fashioned. They go toward the psychoanalytical open-ended conversations with their clients and change is tracked through then or through, these, um, through that relationship. And some do the short, brief therapies. Um, and of course, I am more a champion of the brief therapies. Of course, the actual length of therapy is, is determined by the nature of the relationship between the client and the therapist and, um, and uh, you know, how life takes, uh, how life goes through. You know, different people react differently to the same techniques. So basically, to wrap it all up, psychology is about understanding the history behind the problem, um, understanding the common threads that put together all human behavior, the common needs and motivations, um, and putting forth a story determining things you can change. And the things that you're going to be aiming to change are thoughts, actions, and emotions. The only thing to keep in mind Every day, in every way, it gets better and better. And that's the point of this work.